Travelers could be facing delays today as millions of Americans head home after the holiday weekend. Extreme heat, high winds and heavy rains impacted Fourth of July celebrations for many people. And that severe weather is leading to frustrations today. Chris Van Cleve, as usual, is on it at Phoenix's airport where temperatures are expected to hit triple digits this afternoon. Chris, aren't you so glad you moved to Phoenix? Good morning. Actually, we're getting a bit of a cool down. We may not break 110 today here oh, in the Valley. Well, so Chris. still under. Yeah. I mean, listen, every degree counts, right? We are still under an excessive heat warning here in Phoenix, but it's also July in the desert. So folks uh, come to expect that. But these storms, it almost is starting to feel like they're doing this on purpose. They're picking on certain cities because they're showing up again and again and again, more or less in the same place. And that could make the trip home from the 4th of July challenging. It was not barbecue weather for many this 4th of July. Pounding rain made it hard to see and drive in parts of Alabama. In Rhode Island, beachgoers ran for cover. And a lightning strike in New York hospitalized one person. The storms even delayed a sacred holiday tradition. Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest in Coney Island, New York. Little rain on the picnic. It wasn't just the weather literally raining on our parade. It's the heat and humidity, too. Just easy does it. Just keep cool. Californians Tommy and Gloria Koppel are visiting Washington, D.C., where the humidity peaked at 94% Tuesday. I mean, it gets hot back there, but we don't have the humidity like this. This humidity right here, it's killing me right now. And the nasty weather keeps disrupting travel. It was delayed today, so now my flight is not leaving until 6 in the morning. In Denver and New York, storms brought flights to a halt. It's just chaotic. I like to be in and out, so this is not my type of party. After nearly two weeks of tens of thousands of flight delays and thousands of cancellations, more disruptions are possible today. So Gina Moliari and her family tried to beat the crowds, leaving a day early after visiting her family in Houston. For us, uh, going internationally, it's better to travel this date, which is, uh, as you can see, <laughs> less people at the airport than tomorrow, for example. Tomorrow was sold out. Today was a good day to travel. Now, for folks who are driving back from the 4th of July holiday, AAA expects the roads will be noticeably busier after about 3 p.m. through the typical rush hour on a Wednesday. Uh, for flyers, some, some good and bad news here. While we're seeing a lot of delays due to weather still, the cancellations have ticked down into what would be a more or less normal range for the summer. Uh, so while you may not get to where you're going on time, increasingly people are at least getting there. Christina and Ed. That is, uh, that is a good bit of silver lining. Um, and as you pointed out, things relatively okay across the country today, but where are the areas of most concern when it comes to air travel? Yeah, so the morning got off to a pretty good start, and that's important for the airlines because if they start the day on time, it tends to improve the likelihood that they finish the day uh, more or less on time or, or at least within so, sort of that acceptable range uh, there. Uh, points of concern because there's a storm system that's going to move Midwest across the south. So we're watching Denver because Denver seems to get thunderstorms now every day uh, just in time to disrupt some flights. Uh, Chicago, Charlotte, Atlanta. Miami, Orlando, Tampa, uh, as that storm moves through, uh, the, the, you're looking at potential ground stops and delays and disruptions uh, as that front goes through. So we're, we're watching all of that uh, today as this sort of moves across the country. And uh, the New York area airports have been uh, kind of on the struggle bus for a couple of weeks now, so watching them as well. Yeah, I have a struggle friend bus. who got stuck in that Denver storm and ended up hopscotching all over the country to try to get his flight to Greece for a wedding. Um, we've talked about this earlier, but Friday was the busiest day on record for the TSA. Is this going to progress throughout the summer? Are we expecting it to stay busy all summer long? And should I or should I not brave these airports in September for a trip? Should I just drive to the park and sit there? Well, I know, Christina, you love a road trip, particularly in like a large <laughs> SUV. Maybe Ed could go with you on that one. Uh, Chris, you know, please, so never again. First never part again. of that question. <laughs> it's a long story. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Chris, go ahead. Uh, so yeah. first part of that question. First part of that question. Uh, the summer is proving to be 
as busy or busier than 2019, which was a record. Fourth of July is typically not a record setting travel time uh, for one uh, because the, the fourth moves around. It isn't always on a Monday or a Friday. Uh, you get a longer travel period. So it's unusual that the busiest day ever at airport checkpoints was the Friday before the fourth of July. So that's a sign that uh, Labor Day and come Thanksgiving uh, and, and the Christmas holidays could see uh, higher than ever numbers. Uh, people are back to traveling uh, in ways that we haven't seen since before the pandemic. Um, my sense is, Christina, that when, when we get into the fall, you will see travel volumes come down some. Uh, so we're not talking about potential like record or near record days on, on a random Friday uh, the way we are this summer. Uh, but expect airports to stay busy. Uh, when you're looking at like prices to go places, particularly internationally, uh, all the experts are saying if you can delay your trip to September or October, you're going to find better deals, uh, more availability, i.e. fewer other people traveling. So uh, September, October uh, look like good windows. I'm planning to do sort of move my summer travel into October uh, for that very reason. All right, we'll walk it down. Chris Van Cleve, thank you so much.